Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at Signalizer, which is the best software there is for metering and visualization, right? So this is the vector scope, which shows about waves being in correlation, like in phase or out of phase. Uh, so the reason this is looking like it is, is I'm not gonna go into detail about this. I'm gonna do a whole nother video on just how to make cool pictures in a vector scope. But uh, we've got one wave panned all the way left, one wave panned all the way right, and uh, they're a little bit out of tune because of this spread knob, right? If we didn't have that, then we put this all the way down, uh, then it wouldn't really spin as much as it is, right? And we get more static shapes. Um, anyways, enough about that. Let's just look into some of the options here, right? We can change all the colors, right? We could like add this, right? Change this. I like it like this because I can still tell whether things are in phase or not, and it's just pretty. Uh, you know, you can change the background color or whatever. Um, I like it at black. Uh, you can change the primitive size, which is the, the size, thickness of the lines, basically. Um, you can change how long it keeps track of, right? So keep track of less time, keep track of more time. All right, this is like really pretty. Um, but also, you know, you maybe it tells you more or something. Um, or you can use it to draw pretty pictures, right? You can change the, the color of the lines itself, right? Obviously, that was a nice green there. Yeah, my, my biggest complaint about this thing is it's very hard to select the color you want because there's so many colors on the knob, All right? Um, you know, we just have a circle weaving into a diamond if we were just playing one note. Cool. So that is the vector scope, uh, kind of amazing, but it doesn't stop there. So let's look at these other guys. So we have the best oscilloscope, in my opinion, ever. Um, so let's make this bigger for y'all. Uh, right now we're not in a very good mode for what we're trying to do. So these are the different ways it would draw the size of the window. So this is uh, some amount of time, 22 milliseconds in this case. You could do cycles, like wave cycles. Right, so right now we're at three, so there's three complete cycles. Um, we're keeping track of the mids and the sides right now. Let's do the left and the right so you can see what's going on. But because they're out of tune, right, we can make them less out of tune so that they'll phase slower. But basically one of these is traveling slower than the other. Uh, the red line is traveling slower. That's why it's phasing backwards. Um, I can't remember whether the that's the right or the left channel. Um, but it doesn't matter. You can also look at the mids and sides. So when these are out of phase, it's going to mostly be, um, or when it's out of phase, it's going to be a side signal. When it's in phase, it's going to be a mid signal. And so, uh, you know, you can see that the side signal is going, you know, from being very tall to being flat and the mid signal is doing the same thing as these go in and out of phase. Um, right, we could make this window much bigger. We can have this instead of being interpreted this way we could have it just be sample dots, right? We could freeze this and I can zoom in and you can actually see these sample dots, right? You could interpret these as rectangles or this is just straight lines. This is like sine wave interpretation, right? So you can probably see that up here if we like curve in, but these are slightly curved lines. Um, so, um, yeah, you can change all the colors. If you switch up this knob, then low waves are going to be whatever color you specify here. I have mine go from red and then mid frequency waves go towards green and then it starts fading into blue for high frequency waves. Uh, so if you have complex waveform, like say you had a song playing, you could like see when the bass hits and all those sorts of things. Um, and you could do also do that in a mid side context, so you could see your subs are like really big and red um, in the mid section, but there's you know nothing that's really red in the sides, which is what you want for your subs usually. Um, so there's, uh, yeah, like I said, the best oscilloscope. Like if you're more doing, uh, you know, trying to look at drums or something, you could do time or beats, and then you could be like, oh, this should be like one out of one, which is actually just one beat. Um, but then you can see this, uh, and it, it will lock on if you have spectral mode, but if you just do this, then you could like watch your waves go by that way, or you can do time. Um, I like time best of all, and then you can set it to like kind of what, however fast you want. You can like zoom way in, right? Uh, see all this stuff, like, and you can zoom like way in if you want, 
separate. And then occasionally when you see those dots, those are the individual samples, right? And again, spectra will try and latch on to these waves. There you can see that we are latched onto the waves. Uh, so yeah, these, these will help latch on so you can you know, see changes. So if we were to add like some FM or even better, let's just take one of these waves and add some harmonics, right? Then we can like just change this one wave. You can turn off those dots if like those dots bother you if you just want to like use a linear interpretation. Dot samples right here. Right? And then you just get these just in case you want. So yeah, best best oscilloscope, best spectroscope, or vector scope rather. Um, the spectrum is great too, right? So all these you can resize them to however big you want. You just grab it, change the size. Right. So you notice this blue and this green, and they they um, that's I think how I have it set up right now is the mid and the side, but you can also change the decay rate, right? So there's this guy that's falling really fast. You can choose how fall, fast these fall, right? So that is more of my instantaneous graph, but that also has two versions, which again, these are the mid and the side. Yeah, so mid and side right here. You can have the left and the right, and then these would be the left and the right. Uh, and you can control how fast those decay too. Like we could have those fall, fall faster here, right? You can still change all the colors of this. Um, you can choose the slope of the whole thing. Uh, there we go, the slope, like so how much tilt you add to this. Um, usually like four is a good number. Uh, three or four is a good number for EDM. Um, span I think is by default four or 3.5. Uh, that's decibels per octave of slope that's being applied. Because um, normally if you don't have any slope, then your whole song should be downward sloping. Uh, if you have about three and a half or four, it'll make your whole song approximately flat, depending on how it's colored. Um, yeah, you can also change these guys, right? Which is like, ultimately changes the, the fast Fourier transform or something on how it renders out these graphics. So I had it how I like it, but you can change these things. You can change the window function to like all these different things. I, I don't know a lot about that. So if you're if you're a huge signal processing nerd, maybe you do, and you can explain it to people. And then there's also a waterfall version of this, uh, which is you know tells you frequency over time. So say we mess with some FM knobs. Right, you can see what's going on over time. Right, you can also see what's going on here. Cool. So I hope this was informative. Um, you know, I'll put the link for Signalizer in the description. Again, it's free and it's the best. I don't know why people don't know about it. Um, there, I don't even see a donate button for it, but if you want to like try to contact a developer and tell them that you want to give them a few bucks, that would be a nice gesture. Uh, it hasn't been updated in about two years, but it does work really well. Um, so maybe it doesn't need that much updating, but it would be nice if the developer understood how appreciative the music community is for this. And I hope you guys get a lot of use out of this tool. So take care. Bye.